Hi guys, today we are going to be looking into the how we can select the list box value. Okay. So here there is three method is available. Select by index and select by value and select by visible text. Using this three method, we are selecting the list box value. Okay. What is select by index? For example, for in list box we can see ten values. Using the index 0, 1, 2, 3, uh, we are selecting that particular index value. Okay, I will show to you. Okay, select by value. See here in Facebook application, we can see the birthday, day, month, year. Okay, in the day, we can see 31st uh, days it will be available. Okay, this is index here. We can see 31st number it will be available. If we are given index number 1 means going to be select 1. Index number 2 means going to be select 2. That index value starts from 0. So 0 is day, 1 is 1, 2 is 2, 3 is 3. Okay. So like that we are using uh, select by index. Okay. So select by value means this method used for you know, based on the option based attribute value. I'm going to be show you. So here, right click on inspect of element. See, click on inspect tool. Click on here. Here, that select uh, method uh, that attribute is available. Click on this one. Here, you can see that option value. Right. See, this is the option value. Using this option value, we are uh, selecting the text. Okay. This what I am going to be tell you. Okay, select by value. So after that, select by visible text, which means what text actually it will be present in the application. We are getting that particular text. We are passing the text. We are selecting that particular text. Okay, so here the clearly I mentioned select by index, which means it starts from zero. So in day available thirty one days. Okay. So if I am passed to 1 means it is going to be select 1. If I am passed to index value 0 means going to be select day. Okay. Next is select by value which means option based uh, value. There we can see option 1 attribute. Right. So in option attribute we can see that uh, option value equal to 0, option value equal to 1. Right. We are getting that uh, using that option value we are selecting the particular value. Okay. What is the select by visible text means? What text actually present in this application which means this one. Okay. Two. So we are using this uh, text. We are uh, using that method select by visible text. Okay. Are you clear? So index 6. We are counting number of values. Using the index we are passing that index value. Next is select by text select by value right which means using the option value okay next is select by visible text which means we are passing actual text what, what will be present in application okay now we are going to be automate this one so already i told you how we can uh, launch the chrome browser using uh, set the system property for uh, chrome driver after declare that web driver so after uh, passing the uh, application URL, then I am going to be maximize the window. Okay, here I am going to be select that particular list box value. Okay, so for that I am going to be store the element using the web element method. Okay, so here first we are using select by index. Okay, so here driver dot find element by dot Here I am going to be use id. Why means click on inspect, move on cursor on the day. So here we can see that select id locator is available. So that is why I am going to be choose id. That id attribute value is day. So I am going to be given id. Okay. Got it? 
So the particular locator it will be stored using the web element. So after that if you want to select any list box values we can use that method select select by index. How to create an object new select. So you have to pass the web element object which is select by index. Okay. So after that here we are using the select method object which means select by index dot what method we are going to be used select by index. Okay. So here you can see three method is available right select by index select by value select by visible text here I am going to be choose select by index. So here see many index is available. Here I am going to be uh, already I told you the index number starts from 0. So if you are passing 0 definitely going to be select day. I don't want select day. I want to pick the day 1 or day 2 or day 3 if anything date. Okay. So I am going to be select uh, 10. Okay. So here I am going to be given number is 10. If 10 means the day 10 going to be select. Okay. Now we are going to be execute. This is the done. Okay. Here I am going to be wait for seconds. Then only how to see the element going to be select or not. So after performing some operation, you want to be wait that application. Here you have to give thread dot slip. It will be uh, wait for some time. Why means we want to see whether that value is going to be selected or not. Okay. Here I am going to be give 5000 milliseconds. Okay. The thread dot slips we have to give that uh, throws or try to catch. I am going to be give throws. Okay. So after that I am going to be close the driver, the application. Okay. Got it? Now we are going to be execute. Okay. So we are using id locator and uh, this is the method for selecting the list box value. Here I am uh, using that one of the methods select by index. Okay. Got it? Right click on run as Java application. See now the Facebook application going to be launched. After that it will be going to be maximized. It then going to be selected. Got it? After 5000 5, milliseconds it will be waited. After only the application going to be closed. Okay, got it? Again I am going to be execute. Listen carefully. Then only you can understand whether the select by index is working or not. Okay. Please try to execute this method uh, using any of the one application. I will give you that uh, one uh, the exercise application. It is easy for practicing this method. Okay. So next we are going to be. So already I told you three methods: select by index and select by value and select by visible text. So next we are going to be uh, looking into the select by value okay just I command in this line okay you just copy have to paste it okay no need so for day we are using select by index here we can see three list box day month year for month I am going to be Give select by value. Okay. Value. So, have to pass this correct object. The select object here. But I have to change the locator. Okay. Because here we are going to be select month list box. So, click on inspect tool. Move on cursor that month list box. You can see that ID locator is available month. Have to copy. 
and paste it here okay so after that you can see index values here 12 it will be available 12 index value so i am going to be choose may which means 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay i'm going to be give 5 so here we are going to be choose select by value right? already we uh, I told you select by index so here the select by value already I told you using that option value is so here we can see the option value is available 1 2 3 4 don't be confused index is starts from 0 here that option value also given 0 1 2 3 so you have to take that option value 5 5 means the name is going to be select okay so I am going to be give 5 So select by value is string format, select by index is integer format. So here we have to give string format. Okay. So next I am going to be give select by visible text here. Okay. Just we can copy paste here. Just we have to change the object. Here I am going to be use select by visible text. Okay, this is the string. So here we are going to be uh, select values here. Okay, so click on inspect tool, move on cursor on here this box. Here we can see the ID is here. How to copy and paste it here. So how to choose that visible text? See. Here visible text is available 2009, 2008, uh, 2007. So this is the visible text. So here I am going to be take 2016. Okay. This is the string format. So here you can know the difference. See here that option value given year only. Using this uh, select by value you can use this one. If you, if you are using select by visible text you can use this one okay so for select by value we are using for month list box okay for month we are given 5 5 means that main month going to be select okay got it so here this is the day this is the month this is the year for day i am going to be given select by index for month list box i am going to be using select by value method for year, I am going to be using select by visible text. Okay. So, index with integer format. This is for string format. This is for string format. Okay. Got it. So, just we have to put the print condition. The day is selected. Got it. So, next. The month is selected. Okay. The year is selected. Got it? So now we are going to be execute this one. Okay. After selecting the three list box values, it will be sleep. Actually, it will be wait 5000 milliseconds because we want to see whether it's going to be selected or not after the application is going to be closed. Okay. Now I am going to be execute this one. Right click on click on the application. So 10 5 2016. Okay. Which means 10 day, second one is May month, third is 2016 year. Okay. 10 May 2016. Got it? It will be selected successfully. Got it? 
super so again i am going to be execute present carefully if you have any doubt please post your comments i will be reply to you if you want any doubt in any other application please post in the comments i will reply to you okay what it will be executed successfully thank you guys we can see the next video the next talk okay